Hey everybody, it's Dustin again with the WebEx Devices team. And today we're going to take a look at the new Cisco WebEx Desk Cam. Uh, it's going to be orderable very, very soon, uh, at least from the time of this recording. And um, I know everybody's very excited to see it. So uh, today we're just going to do a quick overview of the camera itself. Um, not so much the features because you can see all that in the data sheet and uh, the announcement stuff that we have. But this is going to be a little more hands-on. I'm going to have uh, one that I've got here in a box, brand new. I'm going to open it up. I'm also going to um, show you uh, the, the desktop companion app that we're going to have with it for Windows uh, and for uh, Mac, uh, as well as talk and show you a little bit of a preview of some of the things that you're going to see inside of Control Hub. So more of an overview video here. We're just going to kind of show a few things. Um, and uh, we'll do some more detailed videos uh, as we go along, and as we get a little more of the advanced uh, management uh, features rolled out as well. Uh, and I uh, feel more comfortable showing those. But uh, to begin, we're going to start off by, by kind of doing an unboxing or an uh, revealing of the device itself. So I want to change my camera view here. And I've got over here now a, uh, a box. So this is the box that's going, uh, the device is going to come in. Um, so you'll see here that uh, this is actually a brand new one. I did go ahead and cut the, uh, the seal here for us. So let me uh, go ahead and kind of open this up and give you an idea of what you're going to get and the experience you're going to get. So for starters, you're going to have this really cool um, little uh, multi-language uh, kind of a quick start guide here. The reason I like this is because it's going to go over a lot of what we're going to talk about. But you'll see here it shows how you can actually just very simply connect the cable to your device. Um, it has a couple tips here as far as the cameras and how to adjust the angle for monitoring or for uh, mounting to like a monitor, for example. Uh, we're going to kind of show you this on the device itself. You see here the little lip and then this adjustable arm on the back to be able to allow it to um, uh, kind of adjust at different angles. Uh, talks a little bit about how we've got the uh, the privacy shutter here. It's a physical uh, shutter to be able to move back and forth. Um, uh, the clip is not <laughs> removable, so it's going to kind of warn you that there. And then we're also going to show you here um, how this is also available to uh, attach to a standard tripod. So if you do have a use case for that, you can do it. Uh, but we're going to show you actually on the device here in just a second. So uh, I'm going to pull the device out here. You'll see it's going to come in this nice uh, plastic packaging here. I'll go ahead and take that out. And this is going to be the device that you're going to see. Um, so I want to kind of show this side angle here because I want to be able to show uh, a little bit as to how this uh, is going to be able to be adjustable. So if you can imagine this is your monitor, this is going to accommodate for a lot of different um, size displays. So um, if you'll notice here, this uh, obviously moves back. So depending on what width you have, it helps you kind of get a good angle. A uh, nice rubber uh, area right here to be able to kind of secure it to um, the whatever type of monitor or display that you have. Uh, another thing I like to point out here too is, is that um, we don't show this on the uh, little quick start guide there, but there's also another uh, camera adjustment angle here as well. So I like this, meaning like if you do have your mo uh, monitors maybe uh, mounted a little bit higher and you want to kind of have more of a downward angle uh, on yourself, um, you have the ability to make some adjustments here as well. So very nice feature in that regard. And then the last thing I want to show you, of course, is that standard tripod mount um, uh, right there on the bottom. So you can put this on a standard tripod. Uh, obviously, this is the front of the device right here with your privacy shutter. So this is a physical shutter, which will allow you to see that uh, uh, no one's going to be able to actually see you. So if you have concerns, privacy concerns there. Um, and then there's also some lights that uh, when you have a device that's active, that'll be available here for both uh, when it's being used as well as occupancy. Uh, we list some of that in some of the documentation. I'll do another video to go more in depth with that, especially when we have some of the more advanced features in Control Hub as well. And then lastly, I want to show you is just this is the USB-C port here on the back, which you'll have to be able to connect your device to your computer. Now, I do want to show this real quick. Um, inside the box here, you will also have two cables. Uh, and I'm not going to open these up, but um, this is a USB-C cable on one end, and it's a USB-A cable on the other. So if you do have, uh, you know, lacking a USB-C ports, um, you still can use a standard USB-A connector on your device. But we also include with it a USB-C to USB-C cable. Uh, either one will work. Um, it's just important to know that you do have both of those options. So with that being said, we're going to come back over here. Now what I'm going to do is just show you real quick um, the desktop application. So um, in regards to managing your device, um, you know, it is just plug and play. You don't have to have anything to be able to, to use this device. However, we are going to be continually um, adding some enhancements and features to it, so there will be firmware upgrades. And there's mainly going to be about three methods to be able to do this. So uh, the main method is going to be you know, leveraging your WebEx app, 
WebEx uh, Meetings app on your desktop connected with the uh, device, it will be able to automatically um, upgrade for you. You'll be able to manage that from Control Hub, ensure that you have the latest version of firmware upgrades. Um, very similar to how headsets work today, if you're familiar with uh, any of the Cisco uh, headset series. Um, the other way you'll be able to do this is with the companion app, which I want to show you here briefly. Um, and that'll be on a Mac or a PC, but it'll allow you to connect to the device. You can download the firmware from Cisco's website. You can upload it and do the upgrade that way. Uh, and then the last way, which will also be very convenient, will be if you don't want to use any of that, uh, you'll be able to go to um, Cisco uh, upgrade site for accessories. Uh, it's uh, upgrades.cisco.com slash accessories. And uh, using Chrome, you'll be able to detect the device and you'll be able to actually just using your browser, uh, firmware upgrades to your device right then and there, um, just as simple as that. So um, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and show you the desktop here. So now you got two different versions of me, so um, get ready for that. But uh, this is the companion app that we're going to have. This one's for Mac. And real basic, we're not going to go into all these uh, features in great detail, but we're just going to kind of briefly gloss over them. Uh, but what this allows you to do for the most part is be able to manually adjust some of the settings. Uh, you'll see down here we have the firmware upgrade area. Uh, this will allow you to uh, select the file and upgrade the device. Um, you have some capabilities here in regards to recording, being able to take snapshots. Um, so if you need to do some troubleshooting or you want to send some, some videos or just kind of compare, you can create little video clips from this. Um, you'll be able to change things like uh, test certain things like resolutions. You'll see here we have the 4K resolution available. Uh, so you could switch to that. Uh, you could come back down here to 1080, um, which is going to be what most people are probably going to use for a standard. Um, you can also adjust to see how the frames per second is going to look different um, when you do your recordings or your, your comparisons. Another thing I want to show you here is the field of view. So we talk about this and how you can adjust and change this. Um, so right now we're listed at the highest, which is the 81. But if I go down to 65, it kind of just takes that uh, image and breaks it down that, that field of view for me. Um, in either of these that you have, you also still have the ability to do kind of a digital zoom, pan tilt zoom. So if I just zoom in a little bit here, you'll see that I also get the ability to do some panning and tilting. Um, and I'm going to bring this back out. This is a digital zoom, by the way. Uh, and then you've also got the ability to kind of do the mirror flip. So if you want to be able to see uh, the flipping of the image like some applications will do, you'll have that there as well. Also a good place to be able to collect some logs. You'll be able to do this from Control Hub as well eventually. Um, but uh, for troubleshooting you know, or, or advanced tech support, you'll have that there. Some uh, camera settings here as well. Brightness you see here as I adjust this. This is obviously uh, adjusting it. Uh, so allow for some, some manual capabilities. And under the advanced tab, you'll have that too. Same thing with like autofocus. You can turn that on or you can do more of a manual focus yourself. Uh, you see here as I adjust that, how it's uh, making some difference. Same thing with the white balance. So if you want a warmer look or a cooler look, you have some control there, but you also have uh, the ability to kind of have the camera automatically do it for you. Uh, we also have the ability for manual anti-flicker. So depending on you know maybe the country you're on, you may want to uh, drop that down to like a 50 Hertz. Uh, so you have that uh, capability there as well. We also have the ability to software turn off the uh, occupancy detection. Uh, again, we're going to do another video on that eventually, um, kind of talking more about some of those advanced capabilities, but you do have the ability in software to be able to turn that feature off, um, but by default it will be on. Now the last thing I want to show you here is, is I'm going to bring up a uh, picture of, uh, yep, here we are. So I had to kind of do some redacting of some of the information on this because of uh, where I'm pulling this from. But I wanted to kind of give you, and this is just a screenshot. Uh, I pulled this a uh, little bit earlier. Um, but just kind of give you an idea of management from um, the perspective of Control Hub. So again, if you've seen things like the um, uh, desk devices, uh, like the headsets, you'll be able to see this is very similar as far as accessories type of uh, scenario goes. So you see we've got a bunch of uh, desk cameras here. Uh, you see which ones are online, offline. It tells you who they're belonging to. This is one I pulled up as an example here that it is shows that it's connected to the Cisco WebEx Meetings app um, and everything from serial number to the software version that it's on. Um, we don't have the channeling uh, set here like we do with devices yet, so that's something that's going to be coming. But one of the things that's uh, kind of interesting to see here is that you also can see you know, when the device was used and, and kind of when it's giving you some updates. So again, kind of a sneak peek here. This is a little bit early to show you. This will not be available at general availability but it is something that uh, will be coming um, relatively soon afterwards. And, um, but either way, again, really quick high-level overview. Kind of wanted to do a little unboxing of the desk cam. 
We're very excited about it. If there's some specific features that you're excited about, please comment below, let us know. Um, get ready for some more videos coming along, but uh, we're very excited to get this out. And um, again, if you have any questions, let us know and uh, get ready. We got a lot of videos coming out pretty soon um, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.